Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Evelyn. So for today's video, I wanted to sit down and talk about how you can make your home feel cozy and inviting and just welcoming. I feel like we all strive for a cozy home and just making it feel like a big warm hug when your guests walk in. So hopefully these tips help you out and without further ado, let's get started. So the very first tip is using warm colors and now I don't mean just using neutrals, beige, brown what I mean is using colors that have a warm undertone so maybe a green with a warm undertone a brown with a warm undertone or if you want to add reds pinks using colors that have that warm undertone will make it feel a little bit warmer and just cozy and welcoming when you think about it fall is a very loved season because it feels so cozy and the reason it feels so cozy is because we use warmer colors like brown and orange so what you can do year-round is incorporate warm colors so that you still keep that coziness throughout the whole year and just making your home feel like a big warm hug. A really good example is my sectional. It is a gray color but it is a very pretty warm gray. If I would have used a cooler gray then it would have felt a little bit colder and just not as inviting. So still incorporate colors that you really like and enjoy but try to look for colors that have that warm undertone so that it still feels very cozy. The next tip I have for you is adding rugs. Believe it or not, rugs make such a big difference when you walk into a home. When we lived at our first place, our living room actually didn't have a rug and it felt very cold and uninviting and I didn't really know why. And then eventually we got a rug and wow, it made such a difference. There's just something about walking on a rug with bare feet. It feels so cozy. It kind of even invites you to sit on the floor. I don't know what it is, but it is so cozy. So definitely add rugs to your space. Spaces. There are so many rooms you can add rugs to, like your entryway, your living room, your dining area, or even your kitchen. It's all up to you and knowing where you want to add a rug, but I would highly recommend picking one up for your living room. It's going to instantly make it feel cozy and just a lot more welcoming. All right, so the next tip is adding layers, and I have mentioned this before, but there's just something about adding layers that just welcomes guests to sit down or lay down and make it feel very cozy. And by layers, I mean throw blankets, throw pillows, bedding, and even rugs. I've seen so many designers stack to rugs and they look so pretty. I love the visual interest it adds, the textures. I just love it so, so much. Adding a throw blanket and a lot of pillows on your couch is going to welcome your guests into wanting to sit down and get a pillow and hug it and just, I don't know, feel very cozy cozy and same thing goes with bedding adding sheets a duvet a throw blanket a quilt throw pillows is going to make it feel very welcoming if you have guests over or just for yourself you're gonna want to jump into your bed we actually recently got some new sheets and a duvet from brooke lennon and they are actually sponsoring today's video so thank you brooke lennon for sponsoring today's video now i'm sure many of you have heard of brooke lennon but if you haven't they are a luxury sheets company creating high quality home goods to elevate your home it was founded on the philosophy that people deserve simple beautiful home essentials but at a fair price and and if you think about it, we spend a third of our life sleeping. So you would want to invest in some really good high quality sheets that are going to last and are really comfortable. And the great thing about these sheets is that they get softer after every wash. So every time you wash them, you're going to be sleeping even better. And it just goes to show that these sheets are going to last a very long time. I had heard so many good things about Brooklinen and they did not disappoint. They have actually over a hundred thousand five star reviews, more than any other bedding company. So that that just shows how much people love them. They not only feel great, but they look great and you can mix and match over 20 colors and patterns. So you don't have to just stick to having the same color for your sheets and your duvet. You can mix and match it to your liking. They have so many different colors and patterns, so many different options to choose from. And I'm sure there's something there that you will like. I picked up Brooklinen's Lux Hardcore Bundle set in the color Warm Gray. And I decided to get the same color for my sheets and the duvet. And they were so kind enough to send me their comforter I got the all season downfield comforter, which is so soft. Oh my God, it feels so great. So instead of buying individual items, you can save 25% by purchasing a hardcore bundle, which includes a core sheet set, 
two extra pillowcases and a duvet cover and once again you can mix and match them to your liking so once again i picked up the luxe hardcore sheet bundle set and they are a luxe satin sheet that features a luxurious 480 thread count and a slightly luminous finish and it's actually more tightly woven and heavier in weight than percale which makes it warmer and more buttery soft which is ideal for year-round comfort i can truly say that these sheets are amazing they are so incredibly soft soft they feel like a butter in your hands they are also so so comfortable so i highly recommend them after we slept on them the first night we regretted not getting them sooner but i'm so glad we have them now and that we get to enjoy them so if you want to check them out right now brooklinen is having their memorial sale so all of brooklinen items are 20 percent off through may 31st so right now is the perfect time to try them out or stock up on your favorites i will have the link down below in the description box so you can check them out and thank you once again Brooklinen for sponsoring today's video. Okay so moving on to the next tip I'm sure it's one that you guys have heard of and it is lighting and by lighting I mean lamps sconces and candles there's just something about that moody light that lamps give off it is very warm and cozy which is why a lot of creators use them and add them to their kitchen to their living rooms to their shelves and a very big tip is using warm light bulbs try to stay away from that white lighting that just kind of reminds you of a hospital I don't know, I don't really like that type of lighting. So using warm lighting is going to give you that cozy ambiance that we are looking for. Adding candles is also another great way to add that cozy lighting, adding it to your entryway, to your living room. You can add a candle to your dining table or your kitchen. Adding that coziness, I don't know, the scent, the light, it's such a vibe. The warm lighting that these give will instantly make your space feel so much more cozy and a lot more welcoming. Another tip to making your home feel cozy is adding curtains believe it or not but curtains can drastically change the way a room feels it instantly adds some coziness to a wall and makes it feel very put together when we first moved in into our home i took a while in finding curtains for my living room and i got used to seeing my window just look very plain and boring and as soon as we added curtains i was amazed with how cozy it made my living room feel and i started getting compliments when guests would come over like your home feels very cozy it feels very comfortable and i started to think like why didn't it feel like that before and now i know that it was curtains that made that huge difference and going back to our first tip i would choose curtains that have that warm undertone so that it feels very cozy i wouldn't choose curtains that have a cool undertone because then it will feel a little bit colder and not as cozy next tip to making your home feel cozy is using wood and you don't have to go out and buy wood furniture you can use a wood tray a wooden bowl a wooden frame there are so many ways you can integrate wood into your home it's going to instantly add a warm texture and make it feel very organic if you notice a lot of designers use wood in their spaces and a lot of their spaces look very cozy and put together because they use that wood texture whether it's through beams through a coffee table or little wooden accents there are so many ways once again that you can integrate wood into your home this next tip is not one that you have to go out and purchase it is making your home feel lived in and there are so many ways you can do that placing a throw blanket is a really good example if you place a throw blanket fold it up nicely on your couch guests are going to want to come in and not even sit in that spot because they don't want to ruin your throw blanket but if you were to get the throw blanket and just literally throw the blanket it feels a lot more cozy and it kind of welcomes your guests to jump into your couch and get the blanket and cover themselves same thing goes with pillows i noticed that chopping your pillows is no longer a trend and designers just put them on the couch and maybe it welcomes your guests to go and get a pillow and hug it and make themselves feel more comfortable in your home books is another example not standing them perfectly straight using one and tilting the other or even just having an open book on your coffee table or in an entryway kind of makes it look like someone has been there someone was reading a book another example is with my coasters even the pairs that i use for my spring decorate with me i had one tilted and it just makes it look like someone grabbed a pair but it accidentally tilted a lot of designers like to use old pieces that have character or have a story behind them and a really good reason is because 
they feel very lived in and they add this coziness to your home that is just unexplainable there's just something about a lived in home that makes it feel very cozy next up is mixing metals and we have seen this a lot lately we see a lot of designers using black brass, silver. For example, if you were to use all black metals, your home would feel a little bit cold. So integrating that brass will instantly add some warmth and make your home feel a lot more cohesive and welcoming and not just all one metal. Last but not least, my last and final tip is adding personal touches. Adding family pictures. You don't have to have family pictures all over your home, but even just adding family pictures in an aesthetic way. I have family pictures in my entryway in these beautiful black frames that I picked up from Michaels or you can even add them in a beautiful frame in your bookshelves or even adding sentimental pieces that have been in your family for years or have been passed down from your grandparents would add such a beautiful sentimental value into your home and make it feel like someone actually lives there and it's not just a home that we see in a magazine or a catalog that is purely aesthetic. I notice that when I walk into people's homes and I see these sentimental pieces I I feel like I get a warm hug and it instantly feels very cozy and warm and just so inviting. All right, you guys, that concludes today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed these tips and got some ideas on how you can make your home feel very cozy and inviting for not only you, but for your guests. Don't forget to check out Brooklyn and they are having their memorial sale so you can get 20% off all of their items through May 31st. So it is the perfect time to give them a try or even stock up on your favorites if you have already tried them. I will have the link down below so you can check them out. I appreciate all of you for being here. Thank you so much for watching and until next time. Bye.